Hello everyone, Mike Hoffman here with another video exclusive for Tip Squirrel at www.tipsquirrel.com. For all kinds of Photoshop and Lightroom goodness, follow at Tip Squirrel on Twitter or Facebook.com slash Tip Squirrel. A few versions back, Adobe introduced a new feature to Photoshop called Content Aware Scale. And you've probably seen this. With Content Aware Scale, you can take an image such as this one oriented in a landscape mode and you can resize it, squish it down while protecting certain parts of the image as long as you've created a mask beforehand to protect the features that you want to protect. So you can see as we slide this in and squish it, the door, the window, the dog are not being affected while the wall and the logs and the ground are being allowed to resize as needed. So it was kind of an interesting feature and it allowed you to create different layouts in landscape and portrait mode and use the same imagery for both layouts very easily. But that's pretty dry and pretty straightforward use for content aware scale. I was looking at some Salvador Dali paintings the other day, and I thought, why not use content aware scale in a more creative way? So I started playing around with it. And instead of using it to protect certain areas of the image, I thought, why not use content aware scale to actually tell Photoshop which areas of the image I want to allow to scale. So for example, here we have an image of a zebra. And what I want to do is I want to distort this zebra. I want to give him really long legs because I'm going to make a crazy composite with a, a funny looking zebra. So what I've done is I've created a channel using the selection of just the zebra. And then I inverted that channel and I erased everything but the legs. And this is important because with content aware scale, the channel that we are going to use, in this case called legs, is black in any areas that we want to allow to stretch. Anything that's white will not stretch. So how does that work? Remember, this channel is called legs. We'll go back to the RGB channel, and here we'll go into Edit, and then Content Aware Scale, or you can press Command Option Shift C on a Mac or Control Alt Shift C on Windows. And that starts content aware scale. And in this case, we're scaling the zebra who is on his own layer. Now, before we start scaling, we have to tell Photoshop what we're going to protect. And if you remember, the channel that we created was called legs. And in this legs channel, the legs were colored black and everything else was white. So watch what happens when we start to stretch the zebra out. The legs are allowed to stretch, but nothing else does. Or if it does, it just stretches in a very small amount. So we can create a pretty crazy looking zebra this way, just by using content aware scale in the opposite direction of the way that it was intended. Here's another example. We've got a bear sitting on a grassy knoll. And with this bear, I've actually selected him and put him on his own layer. And I used Content Aware Fill to fill in the background behind him. Once again, I created a selection and saved it, a selection of the bear. Then I inverted that selection and I erased everything except for his torso because this is the area that we're going to stretch. We're going to stretch his torso only. So we'll go back to the RGB channel, make sure that we've selected our bare layer, and again, we'll go into Edit, Content Aware Scale. Now, remember to select the channel that we're going to protect, which is the torso, and this is a bit of a misnomer because we're protecting everything except the torso. And we can just grab this bare and stretch him way up so again, creating just sort of a crazy image. And remember, you can go horizontal and vertical, but not on an angle. So if your animal or whatever you're stretching is not horizontal or vertical, 
you'll have to rotate it temporarily. Now you can go in two directions with that. Here's a giraffe and again we've got the same situation. I've got the giraffe on its own layer and I've used content aware fill to fill in behind it. I've got a channel that I created by selecting the giraffe and then I use that channel to invert it and create a selection that just has the giraffe's legs and I've erased everything else. So once again the legs are going to be allowed to stretch and nothing else will. So we'll go back here and select the giraffe layer, edit, content aware scale, and this time we'll again set protect to legs and drag downwards. And look, we'll make a little squatty giraffe. He looks kind of comical there. So there are some creative things you can do with content aware scale if you think outside the box and use it for things that it wasn't intended. I hope you enjoyed this wacky tip today on Tip Squirrel. My name is Mike Hoffman. My website is hoffmanartdesign.com. There you'll find a variety of photography and Photoshop tutorials and related information there. Or you can follow me at mhoffman2001 on Twitter. And you can find me on Google Plus simply by going to gplusmikehoffman.com. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed today's tip on Tip Squirrel.